Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ananta with you. Today's discussion is pneumatic test procedure. This is the very important procedure as per the ASME section 8. This is boiler pressure vessel procedure. And you can get it the clear knowledge from this video. So don't skip this video. See this full video to so clear the knowledge. So let's start. You see here one chart is here, one side is time, one side is pressure. So how it is increasing the pressure and what is the inspection pressure and what is the test pressure, all these things will be discussed today in this video. Before we start this video, just I want to say one thing. My name is Ananta Win. Experience is almost 14 years experience in India and Gulf. My hobby is to share my knowledge to everywhere, to my colleagues, to my friends, those are juniors people, so I want to share my knowledge. So before start this video, just you see my YouTube link here, you can go there in this link and you can just subscribe my channel so that you can get it update always when I upload the video. You see here like share and subscribe my channel to get it the regular video so let's start so pneumatic test as per asme section 8 so in that asme section 9 8 what is written ug 100 there are two possible reasons why we performing pneumatic test in lieu of hydrostatic testing as per UG 100A for vessel. Why we do pneumatic test? Why we cannot why will we cannot do the hydrostatic test? Means in place of in place of hydrostatic testing, we do the pneumatic test. What is the reason are there? We should know the reason. The first reason is there are so designed and or supported that they cannot safely be filled with water. Means some position is there or some design is there that vessel or something means you cannot fill this water. Means you fill this water but it will not be safe. So as we section 8 is telling you have to fill this water with safely. That's why you cannot safely fill the water with water. That's why we go to pneumatic test, the other option. This is one possible reason. The second possible reason is not readily dried means if you do the hydrostatic test definitely we need to dry it clearly before we do the commissioning so the first thing is there is not readily dried that are to be used in service means if it is not dried and if you are used in service what will happen where traces of the testing liquid cannot be tolerated means the traces of what is what is meaning the traces of the testing liquid means you do testing that liquid cannot be tolerated you cannot be tolerated that liquid means the dried it should be dried the inside of the vessel so that's why in that case we do the pneumatic testing so this is the two possible reason that's why we need the pneumatic test so you understand now the why the two possible reason for performing the pneumatic test ug 100 b what is saying the pneumatic test pressure at each point of vessel shall be at least equal to 1.1 times of the maximum allowable working pressure multiplied by the lowest stress ratio that is called LSR for the material for which of the vessel is constructed. So that means this is the pressure test, the pneumatic test formula. So formula how it will be like that, what is telling the pneumatic test pressure that is called the PT means one shall be at least equal to 1.1 times is MAWP that is maximum allowable working pressure means 1.1 into MAWP into multiplied by lowest stress ratio that is called LSR for the material for 
vessel is constructed constructed that is st lsr is st by sd st means permitted stress value at the test pressure and sd means permitted stress value at design temperature so two types of stress is there one is stress value for the test pressure another is stress value at the design temperature pt means minimum pneumatic test pressure MAWP is maximum allowable working pressure. So you understand now the formula is coming from this pneumatic test. What is mentioned in UG 100B. So the formula is coming. It is PT equal to 1.1 into MAWP into LSR ST by SD. So this is the pneumatic test formula. So you understand now the pneumatic test formula. From this above paragraph, note is very important. The bolting, the bolting shall not be included in determining of the of the LSR. So in the LSR, the stress ratio, the bolting is not included. Now we do the pneumatic test for the boiler. So what we do? The what is the stress? We have to follow. You can see in ASME section, ASME 8, section 8, division 1, you can see UG 100D, the step 1, it is there, the pressure in the vessel should be gradually increased to 50% of the required test pressure. Means, the pressure, if it is 50 MPa, then the pressure should be gross past 25 means 50% 50, 50 of the required pressure test. So you understand the pressure of the vessel should be gradually increased and it should be 50% of the required pressure test. Step 2, after that test pressure shall be gradually increased to 50%, then the pressure one tenth of the test pressure until equal to test pressure. Means every step you have to go 0 0.1%, 0 0.10 means that is for one tenth of the test pressure you have to go in each step until equal to test pressure. This is the step two. Step three, so I will explain in the next page. I make a graph for this. It is very clear for it. Step three, maintain the test pressure for a certain time. That is holding time as per the standard or client requirement means. You reach the test pressure. After that, what will happen? You have to maintain the test pressure for a certain time, holding time as per the standard or client requirement. Step 4, what will happen? You hold that some time for client or standard requirement. After that, then you have to reduce the pressure to the test pressure divided by 1.1 and keep the pressure remain same for a sufficient time means your pressure will go reach there then you have to go here up to 1.1 divided by pressure test pressure divided by 1.1 and keep this point keep this point you have to remain same sufficient time you have to take for this inspection the leak of the pressure vessel by visual method so in this 1.1 pressure test divided by 1.1 that area you have to do the remain the same pressure for sufficient time because you have to check the leak is leakage is there or not by visual method so this is the step four after that what will happen step four you you clear the inspection now if there are no leakage if you found if there are no leakage then reduce the pressure you have to reduce the pressure and complete the pneumatic test means you completed the pneumatic state but if there are leakage found if you found any leakage inside then temporary closure and welding connection area shall be corrected and retest again means you found that there is some leakage in the temporary closure or any welding connection so it should be corrected again and retest again so this is the Hive step are there is very important for the pneumatic test procedure. So now we'll give example on graph here. This is very clear for you. One side is pressure and another side is the time. 
So you see here, this is the pressure is increasing from here to here. Pressure 50% and you have to keep sufficient time here, little bit holding time as per the client requirement. Then you have to raise the pressure again here. This is first step is 0.5 pt means pneumatic test pressure. This is the 50 percent. Then you have to go 0.6 here. 0 0.6 50 percent. Then here you see 0 0.7, 0 0.7 70 percent, and 0 0.8 80 percent. 0.9 is the 90 percent, and you see the 0.10 means not 0.10, 0.9 is the 1.0. So this is 6 step, this is the 6 step. This step is the 6 step, you had 1.0 PT. So PT is coming, you know very well, 1.1 into MAWP into ST by ST. So up to here you understand, <coughs> your pressure is increasing 50%, then each step it is coming, 0.5, 0.1% increasing, increasing, then holding, then again increasing, holding, increasing, holding, increasing. Then it is coming the actual pressure. In actual pressure, you have to holding some time as per the client requirement. Then you have to drop the pressure. How? The inspection, the pneumatic test pressure divided by 1.1. That is called for inspection pressure. So this pressure this is called the inspection pressure. You have to do pneumatic test pressure divided by 1.1. So this is your inspection pressure. I think this chart you understand very well. The how it is coming, the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, and the sixth step is the completed the test pressure. <coughs> And the inspection, it will be the, it will be dropped to 1.1 divided by, PT divided by 1.1, that is called the inspection pressure. So, in, the, in this pressure, you have to check the, any leakage is there or not. If there is no leakage, then you have to drop this pressure from here to here, directly here, and you will complete the test. So pneumatic test pressure is PT equal to 1.1 into MAWP into ST by ST. And inspection test pressure is P inspection PT divided by 1.1. So I think you clear, you understand this chart. So you understand this chart means you clear this knowledge. Now NDT examination of wells on pneumatically tested valve. So what is the NDT examination is required for pneumatically tested valve? If you go UW58 is clearly mentioned on welded pressure vessel to be pneumatically tested in accordance with UG100. So before you go, prior to go pneumatically tested, you have to do the NDT examination. So in NDT examination, what we will do, in where it will do, what, in which area we need to do pneumatic test. You see, well shall be examination before the pneumatic test is performed, means before the prior to pneumatic test, you have to do the NDT, non-destructive examination. So for the purpose of detecting cracks, so what is the purpose of NDT? So the purpose for the detecting the cracks, where we have to check this entity, one is all weld around opening, we need to check in all weld around opening, second is all attachment of weld, including the weld attaching non-pressure part to pressure part. So if there is, you found that some non-pressure parts to pressure part is joining is there with all attachment weld, Having a throat thickness, you found that greater than 6 mm, definitely we do the pneumatic, we do the NDT examination prior to pneumatic test. So you understand the NDT examination, what is the requirement for pneumatically tested valve? It is mentioned in ASME section 8, division 1, if you go UW50A. So I think, hope this video you understands the full video with details.
if you have any doubt just send me comment in comment box so i can explain to you thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video thanks a lot